Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video I will be showing you how to increase the speed of Windows 10. Over time Windows 10 does become slow and that's due to the amount of programs that you end up installing and just the registry and loads of temporary files all just get installed on your machine and just slowing it down. Every now and again it is good to give your computer a nice clean out. Let's go ahead and start increasing the speed of your windows. To start off with, the first thing we're going to do is right click down in the bottom left hand corner and we're going to go to power options. Once you're on power options, you need to go to additional power settings and you need to make sure you've got the high performance option selected. Once you've done that, that's that step done. Basically, this is going to make the computer use more power to increase the speed of Windows. The next step is to close that down and right click on our desktop and go to Personalize. And we're going to go down to Colors. And we're going to scroll down and turn off Transparency Effects. Yes, it may not look as pretty as it did before, but that will also free up some resources, making Windows 10 a lot faster. Once you've done that, we can now close that down and our next step is to click down in the bottom left hand corner and we are going to search for advanced system settings. You now need to click on that and we're going to go to advanced up the top and go to performance and click on settings. Once you're in here, if your computer really is slow, try clicking on the adjust for best performance and it will untick everything. Once you've done that, you can press apply. And now we will lose quite a few effects on Windows 10, but this will definitely increase performance by a lot you definitely will see a massive impact on performance. Once you're happy with that, we can now press OK and go OK again. Obviously now, like if I drag my mouse cursor, we ain't got like a nice blue rectangle. It does get rid of a couple of effects, but over time, if you think your computer really is fast now, you can turn a couple of those effects on until you start seeing a difference again in speed. Our next step is to right click in the bottom left hand corner and go to task manager. And you now need to go across to start up. And here's a list of the programs that start up with your computer. As you can see, I've not got hardly any programs because I like to keep my computer nice and clean. But what you need to do is go through all the unnecessary programs and right click and go disable. As you don't want those programs to boot up with your computer because they will make an impact and slow down the boot time of your machine and also slow down Windows completely anyway. Once you've done that and disabled all the programs that you don't want to boot up with your computer, you can then move across to the services tab and in here, we have a list of services. You can disable a couple of these services. For example, if you don't have a printer, we don't need the print spooler. So we can right click and go open services. We can then find it in this list, which is the same list as this tab here. Just you can't disable it. You can only disable it in this window here. Once you have found print spooler, for example, I have now, we can right click and go to properties. Then we can go on to stop and we can change the startup type to disabled. And that means that that service will never run again on this machine. But it doesn't matter anyway because I don't need it. Because like I said, I don't use a printer on my computer. Once you've gone through, obviously do a bit of research, search which services do what on Google. But once you've gone through them and disabled all them, restart your computer and yet again you should see a massive improvement in performance. The next step is to download a program called C Cleaner. 
The link is in the description below. But once you have downloaded this program, you now need to go through and just tick all the boxes that you're happy to clean. For example, if you are happy to clean your saved passwords on Microsoft Edge, then tick that box as well. And for example, go onto applications and just check all those boxes as well. Once you're happy with that, you can then click Run Cleaner, and this is going to clean all the crap on your computer, which will also obviously improve the performance of your machine, as Windows does like to store a lot of rubbish in temporary folders, and obviously not clean it up behind itself. If you don't want to use CCleaner, there is also a program built into Windows called Disk Cleaner. If you just simply type in Disk, then you've got this clean up. If you just click on there, all you need to do is select the drive you want to clean and then press OK and it will come up similar to CCleaner with a few options to clean. Once you've done CCleaner, we can move on to the registry section and we can scan for issues. Some people may not want to do this bit and skip this section as playing around with the registry could harm your computer. But as long as you do a backup of the registry, then you won't have any problems. Myself personally, I have never had any issues running a registry cleaner. Once it's finished scanning, we can simply press fix selected issues. Do you want to do a registry backup? You can press yes. I'm not bothered. Like I said, I've never had a problem. You can now press fix all selected issues. And there we go. That's 231 issues we fixed in our registry. We can now close CCleaner and also go to the second link in the description below, which is a program called Malware Bytes. Basically, this program is going to search our computer for any bloatware that may be slowing our computer down. All you need to do is simply press scan now and it will scan our computer for any threats. Once it's found any threats, you can then simply press clean threats. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope this video helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.